What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Damalia Sports Report, and today we will be discussing Brianna Williams. Now, this video is really a reaction to the idea of should she drop her coach, and my opinion, I would say no. At least, let's wait until next season. And the reason is, I think the expectations of Jamaicans, Jamaican diaspora, for Brianna Williams is too high. Especially due to the fact that she's so young. And I think it's very unreasonable for us to have such high expectations for her. Especially when she's faced with the competition that she is. So the question must be asked. What's the problem? Why is it that she can't be in the top three? And to that I would answer. The level of competition in Jamaica is actually extremely high. And to ask a 20-year-old to actually meet the top three, to me, is just unreasonable, right? Now, I'm not saying that she's not capable of it, but I think that she has been one of the most consistent Jamaican athletes in the past three years. Now, she does have flaws in her game that I believe people have come to realize, and I would say it's the last 50 meters of her race. Because in the first 30 meters of her race, she normally is the first one out of the blocks. Believe it or not. If you watch her races, she's the first one out of the blocks up to 30 meters. When it comes to 50 meters, she's neck and neck with the others. And then after that is like everyone is slowly gaining on her. And I think it has been a reoccurring situation from around 2017, 2018, if you actually watch her races. Now, the way she runs the 100 meters, I think she, she runs it well when she's not under pressure. Her technique is flawless when she's not under pressure. But when she comes under pressure from elite competition, it's almost like her technique falls apart, especially in the last 70 meters of her race. And I think this can be seen when you watch the 2022 National Championship. She started out very well. Up to 50 meters, she was doing very well. And then her form, had she just maintained the form, she would have probably ran 10.90 or 10.8. But it's like her form fell apart. And then it was like 10.94. Now, I believe Jamaicans have a very high expectation of her because she has won so much, so young. But... Guys, we're not putting that level of pressure on like our male athletes. For example, like a Dexter Lee. Remember, you know, Dexter Lee won the World Juniors twice. And we weren't seeing, we weren't pressuring him to the same degree to make the team or to make the top three like we are Brianna. Now, outside of the fact that she has a speed endurance problem, as we were saying, after 50 meters. She tightens up again when it comes to elite competition. So, yeah, those are the two weaknesses in her game, especially the 100 meters, because I don't believe she'll be running the 200 meters much. And when she does, I'm telling you, she runs it very consistently, especially since recently, if you really look at her times and her progression, it's the norm for her to run sub-23. And give her time, guys. Give her time. You know, those are just the main weaknesses. The speed endurance of the 50 meters and the tightening up when under pressure. If she can fix those two things, I believe that she can run 10.7. And one of the things that maybe people are annoyed at is that they see her as a 10.7 sprinter, but she's running 11 seconds, or 11 flat, 10, 9. And although there is legitimacy in some of the claims that I hear, the idea of dropping her coach, I would say it's too soon to say that. You know, especially because she's always improving. No, you can say, well, she's the same. She has been running the same time since 2019. Part of that is true, but if you look at her consistency, she has run sub-11 like 12 times so far in her career. Eight times up to August this year. 
Now guys, how many female athletes do you know in Jamaica that is running sub-11 eight times in one season? They might run 10, 8, you know. But is it consistent? Are they running 10, 8 normally? Or is it like a one-off race? She's very consistent. So I'd say when it comes to Brianna Williams, it's just the speed endurance that she needs to fix and the tightening up. Outside of that, she will be a contender. I see her at best as like a 10.6 runner in the future or sprinter in the future. And I think expectations should be tempered due to the fact that she's so young once again. And I think that type of pressure isn't necessary. I think she's an elite performer, but we need to give her time. Next season will tell us all because next season she's going to face even more competition. Remember, you know, outside of Shelly and Sharika and Elaine, she also has, right, she has Serena Cole, she has the Clayton Twins, she has Brianna Liston coming up, she has Kemba Nelson, and she has Kevona Davis. Those are the young ones. Outside that, you have Natasha Morrison. And so far, she has proven herself in terms of getting on the teams. I actually wanted to see her in the Commonwealth Games, but that was not possible due to the, what would I say, like schedule. And I also wanted to see her in the NACAC Championship in terms of an individual event, but that was just not forthcoming. So I would say give her time, but I think she actually deserves a little bit more praise in terms of what she has managed to accomplish. I think if there's anything to expose in her game, it's her speed endurance problem. Because she wasn't always a fast starter. If you look back at her races in 2016, 2017, she was never always a fast starter. She recently just became, like around 2018, a really fast starter. And I think she's making improvements very fast. Right, and now she's very consistent in her time. She's running like eleven one, the most. So I would say give her time, give her time, and we'll see. Next season will tell us everything. I think she's very consistent, and I think she can run ten eight, but she needs to work on that speed endurance. Until next time, guys. Please stay safe. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon for your notifications. Like, comment and share for more fantastic videos.